man oh man do we have an interesting video today let's check out the legion paladin class in adventure quest worlds let's get into it before i get this video started i have to give a huge shout out to nostex i'll leave his twitter in the description if you want to go check him out uh say thanks to him if you want because he's the reason this video exists now he sent me these codes on twitter uh i'm very grateful and it's amazing i i never thought i'd have the legion paladin class very expensive those shirts are awesome i was i've always thought about getting those shirts but they're 40 dollars a piece and you can get a bunch cheaper ones for the same price so like uh, i don't, really cool shirts but uh yeah i don't think i'd ever buy them just because of how pricey they are so a big shout out to him for sending me the codes and yeah definitely go check them out so this legion paladin class if you don't know how you get it it's on hero mart uh it's hero mart.com uh you can find a bunch of artist entertainment uh, like merchandise there link in bio now uh you need to buy two t-shirts for 80 dollars or 40 dollars a piece um and then once you get them they come with two different codes now these codes have different items you can see here. So if you, if you only order the Legion one, you'll only get the Legion side. If you only order the Arctic one, you'll get the Arctic side. If you order both, you get the class and uh, the full armor and everything like that. So that's how you get the class. Uh, once you have it, it'll go into your badges. Here are my badges and oh yeah, he also sent me Chaos Balloon. I forgot about that for a second. Uh, so like, yeah, he got a bunch of extra codes uh, when he purchased the items and I'm very grateful that he sent them to me he could have sent them to anyone uh he chose me so i'll definitely and definitely get good use of these items so uh once you have the codes you get three different badges they all have different items in them i'll go through the shops real quick so you have the legion paladin axe armor and half of the armor and if we go back in here mart go to we already looked at the that's the paladin one yeah so it's got the legion badge for some reason half the armor you get that sword and that sword two collab bogs very very sick collab bogs probably one, one of my favorite in game is actually the platinum one here or the purified one i don't know why it looks platinum and i got the bug where it doesn't show up the whole where the whole sword doesn't show i had it showing up earlier but yeah it's kind of a bug with that weapon kind of weird don't know why that happens so if we go back here to the last badge for if you have both of them we have the legion paladin class hybrid enhancement recommendation legion paladins are dishonest and evil protectors of dage and darkness they used to be a paladin and now you're the undead minion seemingly invincible armored what of a seemingly invincible armored who wrote this description there's is that a typo or am I reading I'm probably reading it wrong but it sounds like a typo to me so there's a bunch of different helmets here no female version of this and this and you can't even put a hair on this so it feels Batman on that helmet but the other ones are pretty sick I really like that one if you're going for the Legion side some more flames that one's the one that uh, is on the cover so that's like the main helmet they want you to use with the set and you get one cape so there you go now I have not used this class I've seen videos on this class. I heard it was really good when it came out, but apparently it's uh, gotten a little worse over time. Uh, it's not a, not a brand new class at, by any means. So I'm gonna quickly go rank up the class and I'll be back when I have it ranked up. All right, so I thought I'd record my first reaction to skills. I've never read through the skills before, so let's read through them real quick. Uh, if you wanna skip forward to the part where I actually use the class, go ahead. But uh, yeah, just wanna check out what these skills are. Maybe you're interested too. So. Um, this one, strike out, confused, but extreme fever. Forever. Increasing damage taken by 10% while also increasing damage done by 25% for 6 seconds. What if I have burning blade equipped? That's a lot of damage. Okay. 6 seconds of 25% more damage with 10% more damage taken. That's really good. I'm, I dig it. Um, now you are beyond worrying what using it will do to you heals up to two friendly targets Okay, that's a heal nice. I wonder if it heals yourself or or just your friends. I don't know who knows uh, Do does dot damage to yourself 
Combine the old knowledge of paladin light magic with the newfound power granted through loyalty of the legion, creating a violent uh, spell that can burn away pieces of your own undead body, doing dot damage to yourself. What? Why would you? Okay, maybe this makes sense when I read the fifth skill. The demand of souls is an order that rings out in your head. You lash out with a spell that punctures the enemy's fairy spirit and enhances your mana regeneration. What? Okay, I'm utterly confused. So I have a 25% damage increase with 10% damage taken, a heal, a do a dot damage to yourself skill, which might do dot to enemies. I don't know if they read if they wrote the description. I don't know what's up with that description. And the fifth skill regenerates your mana. Okay. <laughs> I okay. We'll have to use this class for me to really understand how it works. But from reading these skills, it sounds like a very interesting class so far. Okay, so I've used the class for quite a while. I understand how it works now. And if you watch me read the skills there, that was legitimately the first time I ever read the skills. And I looked it up. There's no rank 10 passive. We're at rank 5 right now, which is the maximum. Uh, they buffed this class recently by 5% on the endurance on the rank 4 passive. Uh, like it has less magic damage and more endurance. Those are the two passives. Uh, so nothing interested with the rank 4 passives and no rank 10 passives. So there we go on that. Now, as far as the class itself goes, the skill does 25% more damage. So basically, your combo is uh, you hit this to get 25%, then you hit this, which does a huge hit of damage. Uh, then you want to heal and probably get your mana back. So then you use those skills whenever you need to, and uh, you'll do a lot of damage. So I can demonstrate this right here. Um, I have full whiz enhancements right now. I don't know if that's the best for the class uh they recommend hybrid but i figure like wizard would probably be the best i don't know and i'm gonna try this class on a testing server too if you want to stick around and we're gonna do some pvp after i show off the damage so let's get into it with the two skill so hit him with the two skill and then hit him with the four skill oh i hit him with the five skill my bad and there's the four skill doing 7k damage non-critical so maybe if you put luck on that would really help. I don't know if that really helps with it or not with the uh, with that skill, but you see we did 5.6k, so you, you can really clean up with the two four combo. Wait the two, wait for the four, and boom, 7.6k. Now I did hit a 20k when I was trying this out on the boss over here. I'm not sure quite how I pulled that off. Um, I don't know if that's just RNG. Uh, my damage range on the Kalad Bog is 150 to 184. So pretty stable damage. Not too insane uh, unbalanced. I'm, I'm pretty sure you could hit up to like 25 or 30k uh, with a level 85. Uh, if you had an unstable weapon, I'm pretty sure you could hit that high. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure you could hit up to a 30k. It would make good... It would make sense that you could. So the dot damage here is like what damage is what will damage you the most so you gotta pay attention to that and uh i didn't i just did it wrong right there i used my four skill before my two skill that's my bad always use your two skill before your four skill so we pop two pop the four pop the three sometimes you don't get big heals either that's probably why hybrid class is recommended uh because it'll help your heal oh and he dodged it right there too damn it it's not a guaranteed hit on the uh four skill and it does damage you. Although I don't think I think if you miss your hit, then you won't take damage. I think that's how it works. So we did 7k there, non crit. Yeah, I'd probably want to throw luck on here. All right, so I'm gonna throw some luck on here, change up the enhancements a little bit, and we'll try it out again. Okay, so now we're using half luck. I have luck on my armor and sword, or armor and cape, and my sword and helmet are still wizard. Uh, level 78 enhancements. So if you're 85, you might be able to squeeze a little bit more damage out of this. So let's try it out now. We hit the two skill and then we hit the four skill in 5k. So we're doing less consistent non-critical damage, but our chances of hitting a critical are higher now. Um, I probably wouldn't hit the two skill unless you have your four skill cooldown done. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're hitting a lot less. So the fifth skill will also do a little bit of damage while giving you better mana regeneration. So you probably want to keep that up using this class. There we go. That was a 22k hit right there. Uh, we should pull him down so we can see those numbers better. That was a 22k hit. So we do that. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> I should have hit my three skill there. I was not paying attention to my health. I could have easily stayed alive there. That is my bad. I messed up there. But yeah, we could have, like you, you seen that. We could have easily killed that guy. Uh, which, that's not the hardest. That's one of the easiest bosses in the game, let's be honest. It's just who I like to fight in all my class videos. So you can see we hit a 22k hit there. Uh, pretty good class. Uh, worth $100. I would have to give a solid N-O to that, you know? <laughs> um, I think it's better than the calendar class. That is, yeah, so it's better than that class, but uh, $800? I don't think it's worth it. Uh, the items it comes with are really sick, like the sword and the other sword and the armor and stuff looks really badass. The class itself is really good, and uh, let's see how good it is in PvP. Okay, I'm not sure if Unstable is better for PvP or not, but uh, we'll, we'll give this a try. So I'm gonna go two, four, three, five. Gotta get close to two, four, and he's dead. <laughs> what, do we, what do we have there? <laughs> oh, feels bad, man. That guy grinded his way up, Rocky Montage, got to level 24, he's like, finally, I'm gonna be able to beat someone in PvP, and I fucking one-tap him. Alright, <laughs> let's hope we get a better opponent for the next one. Alright, here we go, flick two off. What's going on? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Chrono Assassin? I do have an overpowered amulet. Uh, so that might help me a little bit. There we go. Did we just finish him? Okay, a, chrono, a 76 Chrono Assassin. There we go. We just wrecked him. We still have 6k health. Pretty good PvP class so far. Haven't long. Although, I think that Chrono Assassin could defeat a Legion Paladin if the skill was timed properly. Although, with the lag and all that stuff, you're not really going to get... Uh, skill is pretty hard when you're uh, rocking 3 frames per second trying to fight someone with a collab bog. But, you know... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Alright, what's the next one? What's the next one? Who are we going? Please don't... Okay, EMC. Was that the guy that we killed with Rust Bucket again? Who cares? I wanna I wanna hit a 20k crit. Oh no, it's a Ninja War... Ninja Warrior? Where do you get Ninja Warrior from? That's an interesting class. Woo! I'm getting smoked here, boys. Is he gonna run out of mana? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hit the three skill. Am I stunned? What's happening? I could, I was spamming three skill. I, it wouldn't pop. Ninja Warrior. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen this class before. Okay, it's a member only class. APK logo. Is that part of an event? Uh, it's in a sh Ninja Warrior shop. Okay. Okay, it looks, wow, that's probably a decent class. Hey, maybe I'll try that out in a future video. All right, here we go. A new opponent. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Let's hopefully we can do better than last one. Okay. Well, I think it's frozen. Okay. I'll see you in the next one. All right. Tater SKN. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's up? What's your rocking? Blaze Binder level 58. Ooh, Blaze Binder. Blaze Binder is a decent PvP class. I don't think it's like God tier or anything like that. Find that four skill. Dude, did I just do 8k to him and he's still alive? There we go. Wipe him out. 1400. Close fight. Close fight. Level 58 though. So he's like not even, not even really close to my level. But yeah, we won it fair and square. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, a new name. Uh, I've got a lot of the same names. So I'm skipping them. Uh, don't want to like fight the same people over and over again. Chaos Slayer Mystic. All right. All right. Ooh, 2K. Hit a 2K, I'd be. Oh, I got destroyed. Fuck. I wasn't staying close, so, like, the fucking lag, dude. I probably should be using a collab bog. Probably not. Uh, PvP etiquette right there. But, you know, it's for the video. And that's the thing about PvPing with this. PvPing with this class. I say PvPing way too fast. Um, <laughs> if you if you fuck up, like if you hit your two skill and you miss your four skill, like or if the player runs away and you can't hit them because it's uh it's got the physical attack damage range, like it's not a ranged attack. So if you if you like say you pop your two skill, you're taking ten percent more damage. And if he runs away from you and he has a ranged class, he'll just destroy you. Like that's how that's gonna work. Ooh, Patrick is a new name. 
Let's see if this fight is good. I really like this class though. It's a good class. Mad decent class. Wait, did I... He... What? His health didn't go down? At all? What? We hit him once? Jesus, I got utterly destroyed. It's a good class. Uh, the PvP is kind of inconsistent, but that's how all PvP with all classes are. So you're not going to expect uh, to hit a like 100% win rate on a class. Like That's just not going to happen unless you have Void High Lord and you go against everything that isn't Void High Lord. Then you might have 100% win rate. But you know, that's just because that class is broken as hell in PvP. Alright, next one. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Two. Four. Hit him with that three skill. Hit him with another two. Hit him with the five. How you are using internal inversionist. With that four, we should still have two skill regenerates. Got range on me. This guy's trying to get away from me. You know what that full what am I doing? Why did I click on myself? It's garbage. There we go. We got him. Dude, that was actually that was probably one of the most <laughs> like that that guy was actually pretty good. Like he was trying to run away, like he realized I had a close range class and he was actually trying to run away and stuff. But uh, we beat an internal versionist, which internal version is actually a decent PvP class. It's on like the level of place binder in my opinion. Maybe a little worse, a little better. Anyway, I'm not. I'm gonna stop boring you guys with the PvP. You guys have seen how this class handles PvP. It does an okay job at it. Nothing amazing. Nothing horrible. It's a. Uh, I'd say it's like an upper middle uh, class. Like it's not high high tier, but it's very very good. Uh, what it does. So uh, that's about it. I'm gonna try hybrid enhancement. I'm gonna do one boss fight with hybrid. Try to hit a 20k and like get a clean, a nice clean 20k on the screen for you guys. And that'll be the end of the video. Dude, my entry, of course I did. I don't know, I think they dropped by the end. Uh, They're all in one group chat. So it's really easy to keep track of. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, what's up, man? Uh, check my character page. Character page, alright. One sec. No way, dude. <laughs> no. No. Okay. If you tell me someone gave you a code, I'm hanging up. <laughs> Goodbye. Yep. Yeah, bye.